everyone, it's me, Cat Ton here, and today we have another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. So when we last left off, we were left with these four adorable girls just staring at us with very sad looks on their faces. So let's not make them be sad anymore, because I honestly want them all to be happy. Don't know if we'll achieve this in this episode, but we're gonna try. So let's get on with it. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I thought... <laughs> Cat... Y you all... I I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. <clears throat> okay, I I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes lit up. Light up. I, I said lit up, didn't I? It's lit, fam! I should never say that again. Sorry. Yes, I'm so happy! Sari wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Uh, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. Then it, that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Oh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring, it, bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Cat, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Kat! Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I have never walked. <laughs> That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! We're walking home with Sayori! Yay, yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I be able... Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Yes! I heard that this game has a poem writing activity. Yes! It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay! Here we go. Uh, what should be the first word? Um, breathe. Or breath? Okay. So it went, oh, okay, so it goes to one of them. Okay, makes sense. Faster, so it went with, what word did I just go with? I do not know, I do not remember. Ah, um, I think I went with one of those words. I'm sure I'll remember when I, <laughs> looking back on this recording, ah. Uh, tragedy. Okay, I guess that goes to, uh, I forgot her name. Sasuke. Sasuke, that's her name. Let's make a... Oh, pure. Okay, pure. Vertigo, Valentine, Valentine. Milk. Okay, so it's going to her. Parfait. Um, a playground. Skipping. Okay, so I'm gonna go with her. So, candy. Heart. Childhood, oh. Sparkle. Hop. Um. Kawaii! <laughs> Sorry if that was too loud. Cheeks. Silly. Money. Flower. Um. Let's do with death. Oh no, that went to her. <laughs> Romance. Pink. I hope I went with Natsuki, because I want to sort of go with Natsuki. Okay. Hi again, Cat. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. 
Edna, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Kat. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like he deserves any slack! Sorry, told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out, or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Not to keep you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. M manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Cat always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with uh, busy work without me even asking, like cooking and cleaning my room. I think that's housework, not busy work, but we'll go on. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's... Did I called her Satsuki earlier, didn't I? I'm terrible with names, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? Uh, I don't remember that. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Kat can become good friends, too. Um... Um, Sayori? Hmm? Uh, uh, as usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know! Wait, Sayori? Uh, for me? Um, no, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry. Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is, is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually wait, read. I think I almost said weed. But I, I don't mean weed, I mean weed. I, I want a weedo story with the little wooby. <laughs> wooby! And we could, you know, the... Discuss it if you want it. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Yeah. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot! What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh-uh. Sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. 
She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Huh, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box of the set she's admiring. Parfait girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That eh, probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it without... Ugh. Sorry. If you're gonna judge, you go do it through the class on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Cat. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Natsuka pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She stuffs the... She, she, put the I do not know what I just said. Future me, as you're editing this, tell me what I said. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there! Oh, ah! A Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She puts on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work! You can't read at the same time like that! Uh, why's that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Uh, don't say that! You make me feel weird about it! Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her, either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her pe I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? <laughs> Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh... I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where, chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. That just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. And but later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There are so many touching parts. Oh, is that so? Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait! supposed to mean? Ugh. Ugh. Natsuki gives me a little shove. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. <laughs> Good save. Ah, oh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. So, this is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? What? Just a coincidence! I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga! Like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga! I feel bad for anyone that impressionable! <laughs> oh wow, I didn't even know she was gonna look, go like, oh ho 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 ho, before I clicked. Wow. Predictions! Definitely not a coincidence. I guess I explained Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, all of the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Yeah, it's better than, um, uh, deciding you want to just call everyone Baka, or, <laughs> I don't know, something really weird. <laughs> Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh, look, a cute little CG! She almost looks like a lolly, I hate to say it, but she just has that face, it looks very childlike. Then again, she is a first year. 
Uh, we read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Uh, hmm? You don't? Um, that's not the point. Well, well I wouldn't really know. Oh, I thought you said what's not the point. Oh, well. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ugh, oh, sorry. <laughs> think I could ever get my friends to read this. I just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh, uh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. It's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, so? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough! Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happened. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usually bossy tone. I think I nailed it, maybe, I don't know. I tried to give her a bossy tone, I guess. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to ride that Natsuki for whom it's a rare experience? The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Uh, are you all ready with today's poems? Uh, oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Sorry, I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. That's impressive. She went, she went from super close to like a foot away. That's impressive. Uh, all right, I guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb! Just take it home with you! Uh, is it really alright? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course! It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow? I only got part way through the volume so far. I fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. And with that, we're going to end this episode here. But don't worry, you guys. The next part will be up right after this one. I'm just trying to keep these videos short. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye!